If you're wondering why me and my dad are sitting here parked on a hotel parking lot, it's not because I'm going anywhere. I'm not going on a holiday. I'm not having a good time. I haven't moved anywhere. He's not kicking me out the house. Not anything like that. But on the way to training, I pulled him over and I wanted to talk with him because I wanted to let him know about the possibility of me wanting to leave Italy this summer. Things have not been going great. I'm not a huge fan of the new coach. And I wanted to inform my family that I'm looking at maybe going somewhere else. It's a big dream. It's something I always wanted to do. And considering things aren't going too well against, uh, well, in Milan right now, I'm telling them that the possibility of me leaving is becoming more and more likely. Now, my dad, he, he talked to me and said, you know what, son? We've got two games against Juve coming up. And if you win those two games, you're back in the title race. You're joined first and you make it to the cup final. You're on your way to some silverware. And that's true. I think I have to wait and see what happens today before I uh, make a rash decision. But I'm telling you, if things don't go well and we suffer big time, we could be out of the race for silverware this season. And although the team might be happy with third and Champions League football next season, I only want the best. I want to win. It's time to go to training. Unfortunately, I don't think many teammates share that ambition. I think most of them are happy with a Champions League spot. And they are saying we have a good season. Everyone's probably doing all right. And that's probably where I don't fit in this team because I'm never going to be satisfied. I always want more. And I don't think there's anyone in the team apart from maybe Carlos Baca who agrees with me. The game that is being played in the Serie A and is going to decide the outcome of this season is played at the San Siro. We've got the home advantage. The stadium looks packed and it looks beautiful. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to Juventus. Our goal difference isn't the best. We just have to win. Carlos Baca skips past Chiellini. He spotted Bonaventura. Bonaventura with a bit of space. Jack. Bonaventura goes through. It's a goal. It crossed the line apparently. According to goal line technology. The goal has been given and we're going to see it right here. Buffon maybe got a touch onto that. But you can clearly see the ball cross the line just. Just. This is literally, we're talking an inch here. Brilliant, brilliant start to the game. We're, oh, there you can see it. It's confirmed. That went way over the line. Unlucky Juventus, but you're 1-0 down. Buffon got a touch onto it. But Bonaventura gets the goal. That's a great ball, straight through, there he goes, Claudio Marchisio, he's got a man in the middle, it's Morata, save! First chance for Juventus, very close range, but the finish is poor. Samoa into Mario Mandzukic, who picked up a knock earlier on, but he's still playing, Alvaro Morata into Marchisio, Marchisio into Dybala, Dybala, cuts inside, lays that off, it's 1-1. I, like, honestly, I can, I don't understand how we are defending this. I don't understand what the defense is doing at that point. He's in the box. He has the option to shoot. Yet he can easily look for a pass as well. When this pass is made, you force him to shoot and pull the trigger. No. Everyone runs forward like a bunch of headless chickens. Marquisio, wide open. Easiest goal he'll ever score. And that is just poor. I'm so disappointed with the marking on that goal. That was just... You always have to keep a track on the runner, and we completely forgot to do that. It's, they're going to show a replay again. Like, this is basic defending. Three of them in front of Marquisio, no one closing him down in an area like that. Do you, I, it beggars belief. It's not just the fact that we conceded, it's the fact that we need to win to save our season. A good save there. Like, force him to shoot. That's exactly what I want you to do. I'll save the shots, that's my job. But I need my defence to turn up, because a draw... You, you can pretty much say it's game over if you draw. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> I give up. I give up. Just, I give, I give up. Like, I don't, I don't even know. I can't even, I'm not going to blame anyone for that. That is just a very, very unfortunate turn of events. Where Marquisio hits a shot, deflects, completely out of my reach, away from me. You're going to see it right here. Bertolacci deflects it over me. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Carlos. Playing it backwards to De Silio. Milan failing to be dangerous here. Failing to create any decent chances. De Silio trade takes him on and passes it backwards. Why always that backwards pass? Literally. Baca plays it backwards. 
play it forward. There we go. Look at Adriano. Adriano. What a save by Buffon. I was... I genuinely thought that would curl into the top corner, but Gigi Buffon with an excellent save right there. That was... That was... That was top corner. Adriano, he's on side. We've got Baca in the middle. Carlos Baca, Chiellini. That is the difference between AC Milan and Juventus. They have Chiellini, who's ready to make the challenge of the century, whilst we have... Ugh, our defence comes nowhere near the likes of Giorgio Chiellini. And that being said, our corner kicks are just... Just sum up our game, pretty much. Alvaro Morata goes through. Morata with the shot. I get a hand to it. It goes wide. Asamoa. They're not even going to hold it in the corner. That's how bad we are. That's how mediocre this bunch of frauds are. They're not even going to hold it in the corner. We're not worth their time to waste to waste time, ironically. That's the final whistle. And I, this, has opened, this has opened up my eyes. This has made me realise how fraudulent this below mediocre side really is and how we managed to be in the title race for so long completely baffles me because we don't have the quality to outscore teams like Juventus and Inter we don't have the defensive capabilities to keep clean sheets we just we're just an average team that somehow made it far in the title race I may be part of a mediocre side but that's not going to stop me from training and improving because I'm not I'm not settling for mediocrity if this is how it's going to be then fair enough but I'm not going to be here Six points behind Juve, forget about it. There's not a chance we're going to catch up to them. We've only got about five or six games to go. Sampdoria, Hellas, Verona, Frosinone, Bologna, Carbia, Roma. Pretty easy schedule, but I can't see Juve losing twice and we winning every game. We're going to give our best shot against Sampdoria, though. You know what the worst part about all of this is? The team, the board, the coach are probably happy with second. They would take second and say it's a success. Alvarez inside, plays it across the pitch to Cagliarella, who's in acres of space, they hit the bar. Kuczka into Bertolacci, well played, Bertolacci space, run at, run at them, Kuczka is in the middle, you should have played that pass. Come on man, still going though, Kuczka again, into Baka, Baka, good save Pugioni. It's too easy, it's just too easy, shot wide, Sampdoria having the better chances in his first half. Adriano chips it over into Carlos Baca, who takes a really good touch, Baca! Off the post, we hit the woodwork with an incredible volley, an incredible effort. And that's what it's going to take for us to score in this game. A piece of brilliance by Carlos Baca. Very unfortunate not to score there and the cross is just too sharp. Soriano, look at that pass. Incredible football by Sampdoria. Deserve the goal, but I stand strong. Carlos Baca threw down the left wing. Cuts inside, he plays it off. Kuchka, 1-0 Milan. We've taken the lead finally. It's a huge goal, I mean... We, we, we've got to solidify our second spot in the league. We may not win the title, but we can't let Inter jump in ahead of us. Lazaros inside. Quagliarella! Oh my god, I got surprised. I should have saved that. I should have saved that. Quagliarella. Oh, that's a great goal and a great hit. But if I was expecting it, I think I could have had it. Really good goal. And for the first time in a while... I think I'm going to blame myself for a goal we can see. Look at that. He just takes it on, surprises me completely. This I should have had it. I should have had it. Now I'm at fault. I'm being honest here. I'm at fault if we don't win the game. Montolivo, lovely pass. Adriano, look for Baca. Look for Baca. Baca lays it off into Adriano. Penalty. How on earth has Adriano not gotten there? Onda, well played. Baca. It's a bit of a mix-up there. Menez into Bonaventura who takes a shot. Save Pugioni. Lazaros, oh my god, try to surprise me again. This time, I make the save. Fernando, Ranocchia, into Dodo, Dodo into Soriano, Soriano into Fernando. Fernando goes past a few, and it's 2-1, and we're going to lose. And this time, it wasn't me being late on the reactions. It's just Antonio Cassano's right foot, powerful, accurate, and we got outplayed. We just got outplayed. That's all I'm going to say. Look at this, this beautiful... Little build up here, quick passing, movement in and around the box, he takes the shot, it's a venomous effort and there is just, I can't stop it, I just can't stop it in time. Power, height, accuracy, good goal from, from Antonio Cassano. Menez into Baca, Baca takes a shot and it's a goal, it's 2-2. Great goal but does it really matter? I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's an equaliser, at least we won't lose but I don't really, I don't really care too much to be honest. 
pretty poor effort from the goalkeeper there. I felt like he should have done better. Let's take another look at that. Bucker first time hit on the left foot. Not quite as powerful. So in my opinion, he should have saved it. But then again, you know, it's it's good placement. But come on. That ball isn't going as fast as Cassano or Cagliarella's goal. Anyways, 2-2, that's how it's going to end. Did I speak too soon? 2-2, that's how it's going to end? My god. My god. <laughs> oh god. I think I'm done. I think I'm actually done. Two minutes to hold out. Cassano. I don't know how I saved that first shot. I couldn't get back in position. Abate doesn't get in the line of the shot. And it's 3-2. Like, I'll let you guys be the judge of, of our performances. I'm not going to claim I did well. But, you know, this is just pathetic, really. They deserve to win. You can judge my performance and say I didn't do too well in goal. But looking at those stats, I held out pretty long before conceding that third goal. They had double the shots on target, double the shots, way more possession. We deserve nothing. We're an absolute free fall. We're losing games left, right and centre. Christian Brock is like a fish on dry land. He doesn't know what he's doing. My training has gone well. A few stats have gone up. But we have a cup for semi-final against Juventus to play. And you know what? I've been thinking about it. I've made the decision. I'm simming the game. I'm not playing it. Why do you ask? I would love to play this cup semi-final, but look at the results lately when I've been playing the games. A 3-2 loss, a 2-1 loss, a 2-1 win, which was a simmed game, a 1-1 uh, draw, a 2-1 loss, a 1-1 draw, that Juve game was a 1-0 loss, a 1-1 draw, and then Napoli 1-1 draw, Genoa. We go back to February the 13th, when that was the last time we won a game with me between the sticks. So I'm going to take one for the team. I'm going to sit out, let the computer play for me. And I reckon that is the best chance for us to make it through and have a chance for silverware. This is a risk I'm taking, but I, I, you know, the results are not in my favour. The results are not in my favour and I need something to play for this season. Hopefully it's a cup final. No, we still lost. We still lost 1-0. I know it's stupid, but... I'm clueless. I'm absolutely clueless right now on what I have to do. We're, we're third in the league. We're out of the cup. It's pretty much game over at this point. I'm, I'm looking at everything thinking the season's over. We've got nothing to play for. What on earth am I supposed to play for? Third spot? I don't, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to end the episode here. I've lost complete motivation to play the rest of the games of this season. They're, they're, not, they're not worth anything to me. If anything, Christian Brocky should be sacked. This is a sackable offence, the way we've been playing the last few weeks. We've lost everything in a matter of two months. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later.